In the world of gaming, everything is fine, except for one very important thing. What if a gamer is hungry and can't cook? But no need to worry, because I'm here. I noticed a lot of gamers don't know how to cook. In this video I will show you how to cook the perfect gamer crepe. It will be enough for about 3 people or 2 very hungry ones. All we need are just 3 eggs, 500 milliliters of milk, 250 grams of flour and 60 grams of melted butter. The first thing we are going to do is to put our butter inside the microwave to melt it. The next thing we are going to do is to take our milk and put it in a big mixing bowl, like so. The next thing we're going to do is to add our 250 grams of flour into the bowl. Now it's time to take our three eggs, crack them in half and throw them into the mix too. The last thing we're going to throw into the mix is just a pinch of salt to enhance the flavor of our dough. Okay, now it's time to get our butter out of the microwave. It should be completely liquid now. You should now place the butter besides your bowl, because we're gonna need it in just a few moments. Now it's time to get whisking. Whisk the dough until it turns yellow. After a few seconds you're ready to put the melted butter inside. And now just continue to mix it. You'll know the dough is ready when a lot of bubbles form on the surface. Ok, now it's time to leave the gaming world and jump into the dimension of the real life. Take some butter and smear it all across your pan. It's very important to not use any form of oil, otherwise your crepe will get very oily and slimy. Remember, we are going to make crepe, not pancakes. This means they're gonna have to be very thin, which means we have to use just a little of our dough to get the perfect thickness. Most of the time I use two and a half spoons of dough. If you have one of those wooden thingies, you can use it to even out your crepe on the pan. If done correctly, it should look like this. Now let it fry for about 1 minute on a low temperature setting. After a minute passed, flip it around and let it cook for another 30 seconds. If your crepe looks like this, you can consider it to be ready to be served. Now comes the optional part. You can decide what you want to put on top of your crepe. For me, I chose Nutella because I enjoy simple things. Now that this is done, it's time to fold your crepe like so. Flip it around and sprinkle it with some sugar and cinnamon. Of course, only if you like. Okay, now that we are done with our crepe, it's time to enjoy it. Let me know in the comments if you liked my recipe. Also, please like and subscribe if you're kind enough, so I can stop using my cell phone camera for future shootings. If you do that, I could buy a better camera and produce higher quality videos for you. 
let me know if you like this video and if you want me to continue making this sort of content. Okay, I think we've done enough talking. Time to eat something. Just gonna put down a plate, place my crepe here and... Hmm, that was yummy.